Hey everybody, Saigon Cat here. Uh, gonna be playing some Fatal Fury today, or rather I already played. I discovered during the process of playing that I am completely incapable of doing well in Fatal Fury and doing a live commentary at the same time. So this is kind of a post-game commentary. I do finish the game, um, and I only suffer actually uh, two defeats, I guess. I, I have to, you know, insert two quarters. <laughs> so, here we have Terry Bogard versus Tung Fu Ru. I generally fight Tung Fu Ru first because as the difficulty increases with the game, um, I find Tung Fu Ru to be just terrible to fight. So I try and get him out of the way first as he is one of my worst matchups. Um, he is actually the master of Terry and Andy Bogard, and he was the master of their father, Jeff Bogard, before Jeff was, of course, killed by Geese Howard. I don't know how many people are actually familiar with Fatal Fury who are watching this, and how many people are like, oh, hey, cool, Sagan so posted another video. This isn't Dragon Quest. So this is a very old fighting game. This came out in, I think, 1991 for the Neo Geo. It also released on, like, the Genesis and the Super Nintendo, and those were fairly accurate ports. What you see right here is the Neo Geo uh, MBS version of the game, the one that you would have played in arcades. It's only a three-button fighter. Um, buttons A, B, and C are delegated to punch, kick, and throw, respectively. And as you can see, it's not incredibly fast. There's no combos in the game. There's no combo system, rather, I guess. Uh, it, there are little combos that you can wind up doing. I don't know how intentional they were. But... And get him. Yay! Two points. <clears throat> With the gameplay being slower than today's fighting games... Um, The gameplay was a lot different. Uh, it wasn't about, you know, setting up combos. It was about getting your opponent to do something that was a giant mistake. So uh, we'll see a good example of it here with Richard Meyer. Um, the way I just handled him, all I really have to do is get him to jump at Terry. And if he's so far away that the jump won't connect with a kick, you throw a power wave. If he's close enough that it will connect, you just block the kick, and then you do a throw. Like, right there. But, it's a great fighting game. This is actually the first King of Fighters tournament. Uh, King of Fighters went on to get its own series, following a couple of Fatal Fury games, and uh, it actually got its own series in 94. Don't know why I threw a punch right there. Uh, grab would have been much better. Uh, Meyer Link, or not Meyer Link, Meyer Link's in the next one. Richard Meyer using Capoeira. A little boop to the nose. He goes down. This is one of the few fighting games that I actually find myself to be decent at. I, I am way, way better at Fatal Fury than I am at, um, that other one that I'm terrible at. Street Fighter. Ready? Go! Yeah. Can't really see it in the video because it didn't record all the frames or it wasn't displaying all of them, but there's a little, uh, like, arm wrestler face that shows on the screen during those minigames. It kind of reacts to how well the minigame is going. Duck King! I hate this guy. It's Duck King and Tung Fu Ru out of the first four fights. And you're going to see that Duck King really, really gives it to me hard here. And that throw right there was so fortunate. Since, um, since the game plays so slow, pretty much every move in the game has a huge recovery time. So if you jump in with a kick or a punch, and it gets blocked, 
you're going to have several agonizing seconds where they can grab you and throw you before you have the opportunity to, like, you know, throw a low kick or something. I don't know why I jumped there. It was terrible. Fortunately, he didn't punish me too much for it. I got the throw off and then threw a power wave at him. You'll also notice that the projectiles in this game take forever in a day to go off. Um, so they're generally not that safe to throw at anything more than a long distance. And they're probably not going to actually hit anything unless your opponent has made a huge mistake. Michael Max! This guy's really, really easy to abuse as Terry or Andy. Um, he doesn't really have an anti-air. So, at the beginning of the match, if you jump in with a punch and then go for low kicks until he hops back, he'll be too far back to catch you with a jab when you go in for your next uh, jumping punch. Really, the only thing to watch out for is if you're too close, then he will catch you with your jump. And, yeah, you see right there, I'm catching those uh, tornado uppers. I still got it. Yeah. Just gotta control the distance. He jumps back, going for the punch. Everything is very deliberate in uh, these early fighting games. Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting is very similar to this. Where each... Um, each fighter that you're up against has some sort of little trick to him. Yeah. I wore out my arm doing those, uh, <laughs> the, uh, Smash A minigame for the arm wrestling. Oh, Wajai. Wajai is a Muay Thai fighter. He's got a grudge against Joe Higashi. He's one of the three playable fighters in this. That's right. All these fighters that you see, you can only actually play three of them. Um, you can play as Terry. You can play as his brother Andy Bogard, who uses some kind of weird form of karate and ninjutsu. Right here, Wajai. Uh, similar to Tung Fu Ru, once he gets low enough on health, he kind of gets a weird transformation. Except Wajai gets tossed some kind of uh, drug or alcohol from Mr. Big, who's hiding in the crowd. And it makes him stronger, and it also gives him access to his knee. Flying knee attack. Which I'm not really sure what the actual name of it is. Wajai is not in the series too much, but they put him back in the most recent one, King Fighters 13. If you time it right, you can hit him with some kind of projectile as he's coming out of the animation. Oh, see how much damage that did? I mean, I destroyed him that fight. He only hit me a couple of times, and look at my health. Special moves in this game do a huge amount of damage. They take off like a third of your health. Raiden... Raiden has such a silly trick to him. Look at this. If you punch as um, Terry or Andy, he'll just... Uh, I don't know if he's, like, spitting at you or if it's, like, some kind of liquor or something. He's spraying something at you. But every time you punch, if you're playing as Terry or Andy, he'll do this. And then you can just... You can either hit him with a projectile or you can do what I'm doing here and hitting him with the burn knuckle. Um... Andy's got his elbow strike. Uh, I don't know what the name of his attacks are. I've pretty much used to Terry my entire life. Joe, the fight is a lot more complicated. It actually took me a while to figure out how to take him down as Joe. Right, just keep on spraying that, buddy. I can reliably get double perfects against Raiden as Terry. You'll notice I'm having a little bit of trouble getting my burning knuckle to go off. Uh, the reason for that is it is incredibly hot in the room where I keep my computer. So I did all of my practicing for this Let's Play on the PlayStation 2 Fatal Fury Collection, for which I have a different joystick. So I have one arcade stick for the PS2, and I have a different arcade stick for the Xbox 360 and for the PC. 
and going from the one that I use for the PS2 and the one that I use for the 360, the sensitivity is a little bit different on them, so I was having a really hard time getting the uh, specials to go off. Some more arm wrestling. Nothing too exciting. And the next fight is up against the awful Billy Kane, who is just a freaking nightmare. The trick to this fight is making sure he doesn't have his bow staff, and he threw it right off the bat there, and now I can just punish him the entire time. He'll guard if he doesn't have it until Mr. Big throws him a new one. But during his little landing animation, like right before his feet touch the ground, you can grab him before he can do anything to you. So that went really, really well. And now I'm going to get my butt kicked. I haven't found a way to reliably get Billy to throw the uh, staff. Knocked me into a car back there. Oh yeah, um, something weird that Fatal Fury did that a lot of other fighting games didn't do is you can battle in both the foreground and the background. It gave it kind of a 3D feel. And it holds on to that all the way up until Garo, Mark of the Wolves. And I'm kind of glad that they took it out. It just seems like a uh, unnecessary addition. But it actually works out in some fights. Not this one for me. Ah, uh, oh. I hate him. I hate him so much. He's such a pain. They brought him back for King of Fighters 13 also. Still a pain. And yeah, it says King of Fighters there. That's because Geese Howard threw the first King of ha King of Fighters in Southtown. And that was when Terry and Andy got together to get revenge for the death of their father. And uh, their friend Joe went to join them. And the three of them have been in pretty much every Fatal Fury and King of Fighters game since. Well, except Andy. For some bizarre reason, Andy keeps finding excuses to not be in King of Fighters games. So, another easy first round against Billy Kane. Going for round two. Pokes a few times, get a good kickoff on him. And that awful move where he takes a step forward using the staff. Oh, I missed the grab, and now he's going to hurt me for it. Um, sometimes it hits you on the opposite side, so you have to be walking towards him and blocking in the opposite direction of where he's going to land. So it, it's very difficult to block because you're not quite sure where it's going to land. It depends on how far away you're standing. Terry, getting some ladies. The battle was so long. So here we've got some random dude on the left. I'm pretty sure the guy on the right is Mr. Big from Art of Fighting. Holy cow, it's Geese Howard. My name is Terry Bogard. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Now, Geese Howard uh, has the honorable distinction of being known in the fighting game community as one of the hardest fighting game bosses ever in the history of since ever. And he is ridiculous. He has this amazing... Um, counter grab and it will counter pretty much anything and uh, you'll see that I don't use any physical attacks against him I just use throws when he uh, that was silly of me actually I really shouldn't have done that uh, if he'd been smart and gone for his counter he would have ended it right there if he uh, had opted for it instead of a rip broken He can throw projectiles at easily twice your speed. Back to back, as he's doing right there. <clears throat> and he's got this 
as you'll notice, that power wave went right through him, and that's because he's got this very long uh, period of invincibility when he gets back up. So y you can't even nail him as he's getting back up. And the fact that I beat him in one try just shows goes to show how long I was practicing earlier. My first attempt on him earlier in the day when I was trying it at a lower difficulty level, he beat me 36 times in a row before I even managed to get a single win on him. And that's when I realized that he cannot counter your throw. And you can just kind of trick him into backing the hell off. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. That was the end of the first Fatal Fury. Well, I guess I'll let the staff roll go. Chat a bit. Um, I'll probably wind up recording a playthrough for both Andy and Joe. And then I might move into doing the other Fatal Furies. I also picked up... Um, Steam Sale is going on. And right now, today, Street Fighter... Or, excuse me... Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition is on sale on Steam for only 10 bucks, and uh, all the costume packs are only 750 on top of that. So I got Street Fighter for under 20 bucks, along with all the editions. Um, I already owned it on the 360, but if I ever feel like recording it on PC, this really helps out a lot. Plus the price. The price was so good. So anybody ever wants to play some Street Fighter 4 against me? awesome. I'm totally game. I'm not really at an amazing skill level, but it is one of my better fighting games. Pretty good with Kami. Competent with Ryu. I enjoy playing Judy. I don't think that I'm actually very good with her, but I like her moves, and she's a cutie, so... <laughs> I will use Judy on occasion. What I would really like for uh, SNK to do, though, is to release King of Fighters 13 on the PC. Give it such a larger audience. Right now, it's only available on the 360 and PS3. But the price has probably gone down by now. Check it out. Uh, it's, it's a great game to pick up. So, that's all for today. Everybody take care, and see you later. Oh, yeah. See, there's the two bosses against Billy Kane. Put in my name real quick. And peace out.